Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in for the second video. I hope that this time I'm a little more comfortable than my first time. I'm not going to say I'm not going to be nervous, but let's give it a shot. So first off, let me explain why my voice is so shot. This weekend I attended Hard Summer and let me say it was a blast. But the only bad thing is there was dust everywhere and I got a little sick. Um, I will say I'm kind of enjoying this voice. It's different from my normal voice. I only went one day, but it was more than enough. And let me tell you guys, that shower right after the festival was probably the best shower I've had in a long time. For those of you that have gone to festivals before, probably know what I'm talking about. Probably by tomorrow, I'll have a review out for um, Saturday's lineup. It was freaking amazing. So let's move on to this week's drama. Um, there's been a lot going on this week. And excuse me if I look down, I have a lot of notes. Um, let's get started. So this week, earlier this week, it was rumored, or yeah, because everything's pretty much rumors nowadays. Um, it was rumored that Big Sean and Ariana Grande were seen making out. Good for them! I don't understand why people are trying to make it such a bad thing. Big Sean is not with Naya Rivera anymore. Naya Rivera is married. And Ariana Grande is not with her re most recent ex-boyfriend. So, I mean, good for them. Let them be happy. Plus, their collaborations are amazing. So, why wouldn't you guys want to see them together? They're kind of cute. Actually, they are cute. Another thing, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West actually found a new home. For those of you that didn't know, they've been living with Kris Jenner, so Kim's mom, for the last year and a half or so because they were building their own home but apparently like it's it's taking too long and it's just not up to their standards I suppose so they looked for another home and it's actually near um, Kris Jenner's house so I mean they're gonna have all the help that they had before Jen oh something that I really okay love love is totally in the air right now so it was rumored earlier this week that Chris Brown and Karuchi had broken up but then again that's been swirling around for the last few months and apparently it was just that Karuchi couldn't take it anymore, that she had had it, that she didn't want to deal with, like, Chris Brown's, like, anything anymore. But just yesterday, for all of you that, like, follow the hashtag WCW, Woman Crush Wednesday, Chris posted a picture of Karuchi on his Instagram, and he obviously put hashtag Woman, Cru Woman Crush Wednesday. So, okay. Another big, really interesting story this week was that Drake had called Rihanna the devil. And no, people, it never verbally came out of his mouth. It was just that there was a concert in Canada, and while he was singing, images of Rihanna were in the background while the numbers 666 were also appearing. And people were like, oh, Drake is calling her the devil, this and that. No, he went out of his way to explain it on Twitter that he lo has mad love for her, and his new album is called Views from the Six, and the Six repre represents Toronto. So it had nothing to do with her. Maybe it's just a coincidence that the pictures were up at the same time. But no, people. Drake did not call Rihanna the devil. It's just people making up rumors because they just automatically assume that, you know, those the, the combination of those three numbers um, represent that. But, all right, so let me end this video with the thing that everyone's still talking about and they don't know if it's true or not. Obviously, I don't know if it's true either, but I thought I should talk about it. Beyonce and Jay-Z. They were just in LA a few days ago at the Rose Bowl and people are just talking about it, talking about everything that they see or that they are, are observing. Um, it's rumored that Beyonce is currently seeing a financial advisor as well as a counselor actually and they're trying to figure out if a divorce is the correct way to go about their separation. No, it's not even confirmed that they're separating. As I said, those are just rumors. I do not have any verification on that. but. It's something that everyone's saying, how could the perfect the perfect couple break up? I mean, everyone has problems, and I'm sure that they're working through them. It's Jay-Z and Beyonce. Like, they are both amazing musicians, and they know what they want. So whatever they do, it's the best for them. And to end this video, don't forget to tune in this Sunday for the Teen Choice Awards at 8 o'clock. For those that live in California or the West Coast, or any actually, sorry, it's going to be on, on Fox. Wait for a review on that. I'll probably post that on Monday, and that's actually something I'm very excited about. I decided that, yes, I am known as Miss Dashing 
but Mondays are going to be Miss Dashing, spelled M-I-S-C, so Miscellaneous Mondays. So I'll be talking a little more about, I don't know, just random stuff. One thing I totally forgot, um, I will try to provide as many links as I can down below with all the articles providing more information on everything that I talk about, as well as my blog. Refer to my blog. Everything's like super easy on there. I'm sorry if I talk fast sometimes. It's not because I'm nervous. It's just that I talk like that. And go ahead and check out my articles. I hope that you guys like what I'm writing about. Like I said, I'm trying to incorporate other things now. And um, yeah, have a great weekend. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day and have a good weekend.